Well, hello and welcome to Glenzy V TV for Monday, the show that puts Glenzy B up your periscope by bringing New Zealand to the world and the world to New Zealand. Blueberries, this is the latest thing that's going to stop you getting Alzheimer's, apparently. Studies have shown uh, they powdered up blueberries and gave them to people. And then they gave something that wasn't powdered up blueberries to some other people as a placebo. And sure enough, the blueberry people could remember more stuff or something. I don't know. It's not as... I don't like that study as much as the studies that say drinking more coffee and more alcohol stops you getting Alzheimer's. There, there have been studies that have said that, haven't they? That's certainly what I'm clinging to. It's blueberries, you know. I mean, I guess get the frozen ones, put them in a smoothie. That's all right. Add a dash of Bacardi in there. Does that help or hinder your risk of Alzheimer's at that point? I guess you don't really care about it as much. That's that's for sure. Hey, it's that time of the year uh, where it's St. Patrick's Day coming up. It's imminent. Thursday, I, I believe. It's also my mum's birthday. Uh, she's not Irish, neither am I. Might be a connection there. Anyway, uh, a lot of radio ads with people pretending to be Irish on them and putting fake Irish... Accents. This is stupid. You don't need to do that. Just because it's an ad to do with St. Patrick's Day, uh, just because you might be selling um, dress-ups, Irish dress-ups, green clothes, green stuff. Um, you might be a bar that's selling more beer on that day because everybody goes to the pub and gets slaughtered. Uh, you don't have to use an Irish accent. It's not compulsory. It's a bit like when TV news sends people out into the weather to do a report with waves breaking over them or wind blowing against them, hurricanes blowing them away and ripping them to pieces. You don't need to do that. Just show a picture of the weather. You don't have to have a person, a reporter in the weather. It's the same with the Irish accents. You can just say it's St. Patrick's Day, which you don't even really need to say because it happens the same time every year. But, I mean, you can say to, to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, this is what we're doing. You don't have to pretend to be Irish. At the outside, get an Irish person to do it. It really annoys me. That's all I'm saying. Um, Islander 23? Is it 23 or 37? There's, a, there's a, a gang in Australia. There was a, a lot of street fights going on, sort of West Side Story going on uh, in Australia over the, over the weekend and one of the gangs involved they're called Islanders 23 I believe or it might be might be 37 this is this is how ridiculous come on guys I mean I know you're only gang members but surely you can come up with a better get, name than that it's the terrible name and finally big drama uh, this morning on the Mike Hosking breakfast to make this happen that's the Prime Minister, that's the host of the Mike Hosking Breakfast. Mike Hosking. Um, this, is a, this is from my point of view. That, that's what it looks like from where I sit. So, that'd be me. You get what I mean, anyway. But, so, uh, yeah, so, normally we do them on the phone, but uh, we thought, well, you know, it'd be better if he was here. But we want, of course, and then once he comes in, then they want to video it for the website and the Facebook page. And then because they're videoing it, then they think, oh, we can live stream it on the website as well. So basically, what, what then what happens is, so here, if I'm looking at this, like, so from your point of view, your, your point of view here, looking at that, there's a bunch of people everywhere doing all those different things. There was like 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, about... There were, you should have seen the emails going backwards and forwards just to make that happen. And, and they want it to happen every week. i tell you what, it was a lot more straightforward when we just rang them up. We did it that way, but I guess it's not as good. What do you think? Feedback on that? Did you watch the live stream? Apparently 180 people did. It's 180 people out of 400,000 listeners. Is that, a, is that a good return on that? Probably is. It's all about the video these days on the social media, don't you know? Anyway, that must be true. 
Because otherwise, why wouldn't I be? Why would I be doing this? A lot of uncomfortable questions on Glen ZB TV today. Uh, I am Glen ZB. Thank you so much. Can I speak more slowly? No. Nope. I mean, I've I've considered your request, and I've decided no, I can't. Uh, you just have to listen more quickly. Can you do that, please? Can we reach a compromise? You listen a little bit more quickly. I'll speak a little bit more slowly. We'll meet in the middle right here. No, no, don't apologise. It's not your fault. It's my fault. I, and also, I have an annoying, whiny voice, which doesn't help either. But I'm just saying, I, if I, if I, I, I think I'm going to lose some of my essential Glen zb ness if I, if I slow it down too much. I don't have to lower the pitch, do I? I could just slow the delivery down. Obama style. Oh, the person who uh, wants me to speak slower it's, it says it's their dream to be in New Zealand. Well, tune in every day and, um, it, you, and it, you'll have about four to six minutes of being in New Zealand with me. And you can be here, up everybody's periscope with me. Welcome, Serge. Uh, I hope you come back again tomorrow. I'll see you then.